Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And how would you do this and make each one of them perfect, uh, spaced apart, not knowing what size they are to begin with? So we're going to draw an ellipse, hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to take the ellipse and not hold down the control button. And I'm going to hit P. That way I put it in the center of the page. I'm going to hold down the control button and I'm going to put it up there. Now I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool and fill, fill that in. What that, what that did is it got me a shape of that so I can nudge it right back. Now what you need to do, because we don't know how wide it is, what we do, but you know what it's going to be divisible to get around. So go to edit and clone that first one. And then double click on it and move it to the center. Always double check it, make sure it is. If you don't hit the X, you get that. Let's rotate it by hand. See, that would fit as 10 degrees, but we really want 15 degrees. So let's type in 15 degrees. Control D, rotate it 30 degrees. Control D, go all the way around. Now you see they're, they're not touching, but we've got a clone, remember, that we can change. And if you ever, the clone would be your first one you drew. And if you ever get confused, like here's control curve, where this is just a clone curve. And if you ever get confused where it is, if you ever lose it, you go to Windows, Dockers, Object, and these are all clones. So where the bottom one is a curve. And that's it right there. So we can completely change this guy, go about halfway. Go about halfway and even go past it. You can change it a lot. I mean, you can, you know, now that you can see what it looks like, if you want it like that or like that, um, anything you can do. Now that we have them, let's delete our circle and go up here, select them all, go to object, break the 24 objects apart. Now I'm going to take it and weld it. It did it. I, something jumped up. So I didn't think it did it. Now, the first one, I somehow got the circle away from there. And it's because, well, we're not welded. You know, one thing you could do, and this is a, another approach and a pretty good idea, when you get kind of lost in something, Take your smart fill tool and fill in that. And then let's move that over. This will get us that same effect. Let's delete all that. Let's put P, put it in the center of the page. Left click, right click. Go up to object. Break the curve apart. Get rid of that box. Take an ellipse. Hold down the control button. Hit P. Take your smart fill tool and fill it in. And you've got that same look. And you can tell how different we made it look. Now you can't do any more with it because you've taken it away from being a clone because it's all welded together. But you can make it any color you want, make it like the sun. And you could actually, you know, you can do a lot more with that because you're working in the center of the page. You could hit P again and put yellow in the center and uh, let's put, let's just play. Let's make that a brown. And I'm not saying you'd ever do it, but that's, you know, you could make it black. Take that away. Just have it transparent. I kind of like it without the center, but anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.